keep it secrets to different bills Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed, yeah You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah Went from the finish to making bills like a prospect Flow space and slashes to catching this with a lot threat You keep the medals cause the rap was coming up next Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt They try to bring me down, see me win, you ain't like me Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is your man, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, right? Now listen, before we get into this video, you know exactly what you need to do. Go ahead and drop that like, right? Go ahead and drop that like, and of course, let's get this video to 1,500 likes, okay? 1,500 likes. I feel like this video probably deserves more. We probably need to go for 2,000 likes, right? Because I'm trying to hit y'all with a little nugget today with something truly special, so... Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Of course, as usual, make sure you subscribe, okay? Subscribing is very important. We're trying to hit that 60K soon in June. So let's make sure we go ahead and continue to subscribe as we are knocking on the doorstep to hitting that 60K, right? Now let's get into this video, okay? So my nephews and nieces, let's talk about how I've been really on the wave of the pure red pie chart, okay? When it comes to a lockdown. And by all means, it is 100% goaded build especially a lot of individuals have been using them at the small four position which is all good and dandy but it's really better that version is better at the point guard spot because again you get more badges and you get um the uh, more attributes which gives you a better overall build but also everybody's i won't say everybody but people that try to justify going for a small forward is because you get an extra shooting badge and i'm like oh okay all right cool extra shooting badge so if you want the extra shooting badge you go small forward well i've been sitting thinking and i was like man i remember back in the day i used to really really be on that yellow and red pie chart and i thought it would be really cool to come revisit it again because when i was making this video i really started to realize that you know what the yellow and red pie chart that thing reigns supreme bruh and this build that i made today my goodness i think it's going to come right back at the top i think this is going to make a resurgence back as the best lockdown build on the game and let's just go ahead and hop right into it we want to use this red and yellow pie chart now listen as you can see here with the pure red, you have 95, 94, 95, right? Here, 85, 84, 87. Yes, that's a massive difference, okay? And then, of course, when you look at the shooting, 73, 67. Here, 66, 51. So, of course, you get better shooting with this pie chart to get better defense here, okay? So, also, you see the finishing, 85. Here, 91, which is kind of a wash. And then, of course, the ball handling, 78. And then, of course, here it's 89. But we do not need as much playmaking. And that's one thing you have to keep in mind. You do have to have an open mind when you come to this build because you're not going to be utilizing as much of the playmaking because you're going to be focusing on defense. But the playmaking has an important part to this build, which I think is another way to think of it, right? So that's why the whole thing is let's rethink this lockdown build situation okay so now let's go ahead again as we've been doing our time we realize that hey going with the balanced pie chart to try to get as much strength is definitely the wave now right that has been backed up by 2k labs and by some 2k developers so of course this is where things is going to be different right so i i right here and i just again if you see right here you have 410 attributes right you know what I mean? I really, real quick, I wish I could do this real quick. I'm just going to do something really quick for y'all because I think some people are not truly understanding. Let me do this. Um, I, I have to do this because I think people are not really understanding. All right, cool. So you see right here, you have 24, right? You have 24. You know, you have 11. Uh, yeah, 20. Okay, so I match out of top three. That's 11. Um, of course, this goes to 10 and the defense is 24, right? I just want to do this real quick because I think people are not thoroughly understanding what I'm talking about. All right. So let's just do the same pie chart. All right. Same physical. And then watch this. Let's watch this. So we max this all out. And you only get 22. Okay. So now you, hopefully you're understanding why I say what I say about like going with the point guard. Because I know a lot of y'all be like, See right here, you max out the top three, you only get 10. You max out top three on the point guard, you get 11, all right? Same thing 
with the small forward build. And I don't, and like I said, you know, I, I, I'm gonna do this real quick because I just want y'all to understand why, oh my God, and you can just already look at the numbers, man. Look at that, 70s across the board. It's just small forward is not the wave. Shooting guard is not the wave. It's a point guard, you know? But same thing here, you have less attributes. And as you see here, you only have 21. You actually get better defensive badges as a shooting guard. So as you start to change positions from a small forward to a shooting guard, from a shooting guard to a point guard, you get more defensive badges. And then up here, let's see how many badges you get here. Oh my God, you get seven. So with the point guard, you get 11. With the shooting guard, you get 10. And then with the small forward, you get seven. So again, for those knuckleheads that keep on saying, Uncle Demi, another point guard build? Well, yeah, yeah, because it's the best version. <laughs> right so that's the reason why i do that when i try to do best the best version of a build i'm going to go point guard because those are the best attributes if i'm just trying to make a rare build or just some other builds like that then of course i'll go other ways but i'm going to go point guard here because because you get more attributes and you get the best bang for your buck it just is what it is right so anywho especially in this situation where we're not even going to utilize a lot of the badges because we are definitely manipulating the numbers you want to go driving dunk and driving layup here. Then you want to go ahead and go 66 here. That's it. That's it. That's all you want to do. Then you want to max out here. And then you want to drop your free throw to 82, right? Then you want to go 79 on your pass accuracy. And then you only want to go 72 on your ball handle. That gets you right at eight, okay? Then you want to max out your interior, your perimeter, your lateral quickness, your steals, your blocks and your defensive rebounds. You don't have anything for your offensive rebounds. So what you're looking at is five, 10, eight, and 23, okay? So when it comes for a lockdown, your job is just to completely play defense. This is extremely good because you do have 23 badges. And again, I made this for my non-legend people because I know there's way many more. There's 99% of y'all are not legends. So this is what you will go with. If you are a legend, then this changes everything completely. Right? Because the fact is, is that your playmaking, you don't even have to worry about that because you're going to get 10 playmaking. You only need two badges. So what I will say is just that, you know, you will get this be good. We're going with five here. Right. Make sure that's five. So you go five here. you max out the top right here. And then, of course, you will max out your offensive rebound by taking away your ball handling a little lower and your, and your pass accuracy down. Right. But in this case, since we're not doing that, I just want to make sure I have my non legends um, taken care of. So this is what we'll go with, all right? And even if you went with this as a legend, 15, 20, 18, and 33 is really good also, but you can max this all the way out. And then of course, you only need eight playmaking with this lineup. Now, of course, the first thing people are gonna say is that, well, why are you not utilizing the playmaking part? Because all you need is eight. Remember, your job as a lockdown for most purposes, right, is to stand corner, shoot threes, and then um, keep in mind now, this is when you have your friend that's gonna be the primary ball handler, okay? So you know you're not gonna be driven a lot. You know you're gonna be standing corner or standing elbow, right? You know this, and you know, it is what it is. This is the, that's the buddy you have running lockdown today. Or you're in a comp stage and you know that, hey, you're playing corner or whatever. This is what the build is, and this is why I think this would be really good to be rethought of, right? So um, what you wanna do here with your body type, it can be any either type. In this case, let's just go to find. You want to go 6'5", right? And the reason why I say you want to go 6'5 here is because, of course, height has a lot to do with contest. It also has a lot to do with um, your blocks and that type of deal. But look at this. So when you're at 6'4", I mean, from 6'3 to 6'4", you get a plus 7 in your block. You get a plus 4 in your def defensive rebound. You get a minus 2 in your ball handle and a plus 1 in your driving dunk. So then in a plus 5 in your interior. But then when you go from 6'4 to 6'5", look, you only get you only lose one on your ball handle, but you get a plus 14, a plus nine, and a plus eight on your defensive, your block, and your tier defense. And you only lose a one on your mid-range shot. That's it. And you get a plus two on your driving dunk. So again, that's where I believe is the benefit. This is a sweet spot for a lockdown to be six five. It's really a benefit. You only lose minus one on your lateral quickness. And then from here, you want to go at 93 because that does not change your strength and it gives you a plus one on your um your vert and you do not have to worry about anything else being touched on your defense okay and of course by going down even lower you see how things change and of course you keep going your interior defense drops i 
think it's dope that when it's all said and done, you have a 70 interior defense, which really helps when you have guards isoing you and hot stepping you. And if you're in the paint playing defense, that helps you out a lot with your interior defense along with your block and the badges you have, okay? And then here what you wanna do is you wanna max your wingspan all the way out. As we know, this helps with contested, um, contesting shots. This helps with shooting. This helps with um, your contested layups. Max wingspan helps, okay? So you wanna go there and then look at your steals and your block, right? Your strength did drop by two, but that's okay because when it's all said and done, you do get a plus nine. So that means you have a whopping 78 strength. You will have a 97 speed, 97 acceleration, and a 98 vert, okay? Now, 99.9 .9 will give you a plus five to all your attributes. A 99 by itself will give you a plus four. I like to do plus fives, but okay, if you're not someone that's able to be to maintain a 99.9, .9, then you just go plus four. But for me, I'm gonna go plus fives. So that means that your driving dunk will be a 93. That means you have a 74 mid-range shot. That means you have a 69 three-point shot. You will have a 72 ball handle, which will give you pro tier dribbles if you want to use that. You also have um, a 90 perimeter defense. You will have an 88 lateral quickness. You will have a 93 steal. You will have an 89 block. And of course you have a 93 defensive rebound. So again, defensively you're off the charts, okay? Now, when it comes here, this is where you want to just go with the lockdown because that's going to give you a plus 10 to everything we just talked about. So now all of a sudden that 90 perimeter defense with that plus 10 gives you 100. Yes, my nephews and nieces, if you have already have something that's going to get you past 99, your takeover will take you past 99 and get you way into the hundreds. Okay, so prime example would be um, your, your um, yeah, let me see your steel. Right, you're still, like I said, will be a 93. So then when you get takeover, it will be 103, okay? So keep that in mind, that that is that is what it is, okay? You, you can't go past what takeover, past um, 100, okay? Or 99, all right? So go with lockdown takeover, all right? And you still have the name two-way finisher, just like the pure red, but this time you are red and yellow, all right? So then now let's head over again to 99 and let's really get in more in depth of why I want to go with yellow and why not pure red, okay? All right, let's get them to 99. All right, all right so we go 99 here, all right? So then here what you wanna do is you wanna go with your contact finisher and lob city finisher because you know as when you stand in the corner, your job is just to cut to the basket, catch lobs, and of course to get contact dunks if need be, if you have the opportunity to. And the cool thing is you can dribble, so it's like it's not like you'll lose the ball. Um, most lockdowns don't have anything on the dribbling passing, but this is what you will go with, all right? Um, and of course, if you're a legend, and of course you can do so much more, you can get your giant slayer, slithery, and all that type of deal, really go dog crazy with it. Here you have 10 badges. What you wanna do is you wanna go quick draw on silver with base 38, you wanna get your hot zone hunter, you wanna get catch and shoot, and you wanna get corner specialist, okay? So this is what you wanna start off with. This is what I use with my multi-position defender. Um, I, I feel like this is just sparks. And of course, if you're a legend, you'll go dead eye, green machine, range extender, and then get that. So that's three, six, nine with the extra one that gives you gold. So that's all gold. That is ridiculous. It basically what it does is it takes you from out the corner and it allows you to shoot anywhere on the floor. All right. But um, for my non legends, this is what you want to go with. This focus of being in the corner, right? And um, catching and shooting and also, you know, cutting for lives, all right? Now, this is where I wanted to do what I think is different, right? What you want to do here is get your Dimer Hall of Fame and your Floor General Hall of Fame. What this does is completely changes the game for your teammates and as far as a strategic standpoint, when you're playing really comp games, to be able to see, right, um, a plus, give, to, to be able to give a plus four to your, your, your teammates, but also when you catch the ball, you do have a 78 accuracy. Of course, when you do hit 99, whatever, that's an 82. If you hit 99.9, .9, that's an 83 pass accuracy you have. So you be able to make some really good passes. And of course, with the dimer attached to it, it's gonna really help your point guards out. There's nothing more frustrating when your point guard catches the ball and then he shoots a full white because you all know how base 98 is not a great catch and shoot build. This Hall of Fame dimer would thoroughly help that individual out. Also your center, that you're playing with maybe he's a you know a stretch maybe your point guard's nice so he it may, it'll benefit him a plus four and a dimer is really really game changing and this is what i thought of when we were 
maybe about four months ago when I came up with the two-way slashing bill and I talked about how beneficial it was. But then I kind of trended away going to go into the red and now here I am again, falling in love with the Hall of Fame um, playmaking badges you can get for your two-way finish, okay? Now, of course, as a legend, then you can go ahead and make it a little better as far as help out with some bell out, get needle threader. Um, remember, you're standing in the corner, so don't be trying to get quick first step handle for days and all that. Remember, you're basically playing as that lockdown. You're not gonna be dribbling. You know, you know how you are when you have a really good point guarding team. You know you stand in corner, you won't let him cook up, and you just make sure your job is just to play good on-ball defense. And when the ball is passed to you, hit your shot or just pass it back out. That's just what this build is for. This build is not meant to be you know, versatile. This build is meant to be solely as a pure corner standing spot up lockdown. And you know, some of y'all that are, you know, that don't like to dribble or can't dribble or don't really do that and you play solely lockdown, this is something you should strongly consider, okay? And then defensively, we want to go with our main ones first, you know, clamps, intimidator, pick dodger, tireless defender. These are the ones you want to start off with. Then of course, rebound chaser, rim protector, chase down, and interceptor. Now, once you become legend, or you are my legends, then of course, you would wanna go ahead, get interceptor maxed out, you wanna go um, off ball pass maxed out, pickpocket maxed out, that gives you eight, and then go ahead and get your interceptor on gold, and then you will be A-OK. -okay. Um, you could look in a pogo stick if you wanted to, um, if you are a jumper and there's something that honestly, maybe you could, you wanna do that, instead of getting off ball pass, go pogo stick, that'd be good. Or you can go pogo stick, off ball pass, and don't worry about pickpocket. Pick um, and then use the other bad, remaining badges, two remaining badges here, or just go silver pickpocket. I mean, it's really your call, but again, this is a, a really good um, lockdown build that you could use that can really help out your teammates when it comes to the Hall of Fame passing and playmaking, all right? So hopefully y'all understand where I'm coming from about trying to rethink this lockdown build situation. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead, drop a like, make sure you subscribe, tune in to me on Twitch, I do stream on Twitch. And of course, this is your man, Uncle Demi, I'll be back really, really soon with another banger. You know, when I say I'll be back soon with another banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about, man. I'm talking about tomorrow. I'm out.